What's up everyone? Just got a HDS Live 12, this guy right here. Um, I'm gonna get it set up for active target. Transducer's not in yet, should be in in the next couple weeks. Hopefully, we'll see. But um, what I found on the internet, and I'm gonna try, at least for this graph and the active target, is the uh, C-Lite adapter. I'm sure some of you have seen it, but it basically uses a drill battery. Uh, I'm using DeWalt 20 volt stuff. Um, and essentially, I rigged this thing down in my rod locker. Um, put a piece of Velcro here, this dual lock stuff from uh, 3M. And it's just a little harness, same as your um, battery charger. And then you just take, mine's nine amp hour flex volt, plug this thing in. And then, like I said, I threw the Velcro on there just for added security. I gotta see if I like that or not, but it's pretty snug. And then run the wire uh, up to a voltage regulator. You need to watch what your manufacturer uh, says for your operating voltage on your units. So Lowrance, um, I think the max they can run is like 13 volts, where Garmin's can run 20. Uh, actually, I think they go all the way up to 30. But anyways, the active target itself, the module that I don't have yet, I wanna say it can run on 24 volts, but the graph can only run on 13. So that means you gotta use a voltage regulator, drop it down to 12 volts, and I'll show you um, where I rig this thing. So units here, oh, I guess I should have uh, not taken out the battery and expect it to stay on. But while well, this thing loads, yeah, it's, it was super easy. You know, you just take screws uh, and washers, sink it into the carpet there. Seems like a pretty solid um, mounting option. And then the Velcro over top, the stuff that I used is, let's see, 3M, uh, I think makes this. Yeah, Scotch 3M product. It, uh, it's a little bit different than just regular Velcro because it's wet or dirty and you kind of push it in. And I think it'll hold. I mean, I've used it in the past to like hold tools and stuff, but that's what I used in the rod locker. This thing just came up. So as you can see, we got 12 volts. Whereas if you were to throw the, uh, like the C-Lite on that 20 volt battery on an ohmmeter, you would read 20 volts coming out of it. So use the regulator, run it up here. The only thing I'm not sure is how long that battery is gonna last. Um, you know, especially whenever I hook up the module, I was planning to put the module on the same one. I might end up putting it on a separate C-Lite, but for now, I think I'm gonna mount it all together. Um, C-Lite direct to the active target so that it gets 20 volts and then use the voltage adapter and run it to the graph so that it gets 12 like it's doing now. But um, yeah, that's how I set it up in the C-Lite. I'll do a video once I actually get out and use it with the active target, see how long the battery lasts and uh, what I think. But anyways, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you could. And I appreciate it. Have a good one.